Hi, everyone. Okay, so we are now in week three of our distance learning, and we should be on lesson 127, right? Okay, so everything's going to be the exact same thing as if we were in the classroom, okay? So we're going to do our vocabulary sentence, our stories, oh, I'm sorry, our word attack, our stories, and then our independent work, okay? Now, here's the thing. Our points still stand, okay? Now, the only difference is that I'm going to tell you when you're going to get the points and how many points you're going to receive, okay? Oh, and I can still get my teacher points, okay? All right. Are we ready? Let's get started. So, this is a new vocabulary sentence. The sentence says, the palace guards spoke different languages. I'm going to say it again. The palace guards spoke different languages. Everybody, say that sentence. Get ready. Now, I want you to close your eyes, okay? And say the sentence again. Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said it with your eyes closed. Now, a king and a queen live in a palace. A palace is a very large and fancy place. The palace guards are the soldiers who guard the palace. The sentence says, the palace guards spoke different languages. The language is the words that people in a country used to say things. We speak English in the United States. If English is the only language you know, you can understand languages such as Chinese, Spanish, or German. Everybody, what do we call the words that people in a country use to say things? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said language. If the guards spoke different languages, they could not understand each other. Listen to the sentence again. The palace guards spoke different languages. Everybody, say that sentence. Get ready. What's the name of the place where a king and queen live? Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said palace. What word names the people who protect the palace? Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the word guards. What word refers to the words that people in a country use to say things? Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the word language. Now, once again, everybody, See the vocabulary sentence. Get ready. Give yourself two points if you set the sentence correctly. Now, let's go into word attack, okay? Now, we should be on column one, word one. Everyone's finger should be on word one. Uh, is that a teacher point? Okay, word of one is future. What word? Spell future for me. Everybody, get ready. Word two is possible. What word? Spell possible for me, everybody. 
Get ready. Word three. What word is it? Everybody, get ready. Spell guards for me. Everybody, get ready. Word four. What word is it? Everybody, get ready. Spell travel for me. Everybody, get ready. Word five, what word is it? Everybody, get ready. Word six, what word is it? Everybody, get ready. Now, let's say those words a little bit fast this time, okay? Are we ready? Everyone should be word one, column one. Word one, what word? Get ready. Word two, what word? Get ready. Word three, what word? Get ready. Word four, what word? Get ready. Word five, what word? Get ready. Word six, what word? Get ready. Give yourself 30 points if you said them all correctly and you spelled them right. All right, let's go. Column two. Column two. Word one. You'll read first the underline part and then the whole word. Okay? Now, word one. What's the underline part? Get ready. What's the whole word? Word two, what's the underlying part? Everybody get ready. What's the whole word? Word three, what's the underlying part? Everybody get ready. What's the whole word? Word four, what's the underlying part? Everybody get ready. What's the whole word? Word five. What's the underlying part? Everybody get ready. What's the whole word? Okay, now we're gonna say those words fast, okay? Are we ready? Let's go. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Give yourself 25 points if you said those all correctly. Now, column three, word one, let's go column three. Everyone should be on column three. Number one, what words are they? Everybody, get ready. When things are smooth and quiet, they are very calm. Word two, what word is it? Everybody get ready. Word three, what word is it? Everybody get ready. Word four, what word is it? Everybody get ready. Word five, what word is it? Everybody get ready. Now, we're gonna say those words a little faster, okay? You ready? Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? All right, perfect. Now, we're gonna say this vocabulary sentence again, okay? 
Here is the sentence. The palace guards spoke different languages. Everybody, say the sentence. Get ready. What word refers to the words that people in a country use to say things? Everybody, get ready. What's the name of the place where a king and a queen live? Everybody, get ready. What word names the people who protect the palace? Everybody, get ready. Awesome. Guys, give yourselves an extra 20 points for that. All right, now let's find part B, okay? So we're going to read the next story about ho 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 Yes, I know that is a tricky word, ho 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 okay? First, we'll read the information passage. It gives them some facts about contractions. Okay, everybody, touch the title of the story. Everybody, what's the title? Get ready. Contractions. Let's, let's start. Contractions are words made by two joining words together. Okay? Part of one word is missing. This mark is called an apostrophe. It is used to show where part of the word is missing. What does the mark show? Everybody get ready. The mark shows where the part is missing, okay? Here are some contractions and words that make them up. Couldn't is made up of could and not. So the contraction is the word couldn't. And couldn't is made up of two words, could and not. Everybody, what word makes couldn't? Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said could and not. I'll spell could not. You figure out the missing part. Okay? Here we go. C-O-U-L-D-N-O-T. Everybody, what part is missing? Get ready. Oh! The letter O is missing. Now, what's in its place? Who could tell me what's in the place of the O? Everybody, get ready. An apostrophe. Give yourself five points if you said apostrophe. Heal is made up of he and will. Everybody, what words make up the word heal? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the words he and will. I'll spell he will. You figure out the missing part. H-E-W-I-L-L. -L. Everybody, what's the missing part? Get ready. If you set the letters W and I, give yourself two points. What takes that place? Everybody, get ready.
Give yourself two points if you said an apostrophe. You is made up of you and have. Everybody, what words make up you? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the words you and have. I'll spell you have. You figure out the missing part. You ready? Y O U H A B E. Everybody, what's the missing part? Get ready. If you set the letters H and A, give yourself two points. Now, what's in that place? Everybody, get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the word an apostrophe. Now, say the words that make up each contraction below. Okay, so I am going to say a sentence. I'm going to say blank and blank. And you're going to tell me what words are in the blank. Are we ready? Letter A. Weave is made up of blank and blank. Everybody, what words go inside the blanks? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the words we and have. Letter B. Your is made up of blank and blank. Everybody, what two words make up the word your? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the words you and are. Letter C. Can't is made up of blank and blank. Everybody, what word go in the blank? Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the words can and not. Now, by part C in your textbook. Okay, so everybody, touch the title. Everybody, what's the title of the story? Get ready. Right, the last problem in the word bank is solved. Okay, let's follow along. Perhaps you think that all problems in the word bank have been solved. The words that sound the same as other words, we're no longer fighting. The words that are spelled the same as the other words, we're friends again. So, I'm gonna give you an example of the two words that are spelled the same, right? But that they don't sound the same. Now, for example, life and live. Okay, life is spelled L-I-B-E. And live is spelled L-I-B-E, okay? So we see that the words are spelled the same, but they do not sound the same, okay? So you have to remember that, okay? They are spelled the same, they do not sound the same. Almost everything was going smoothly. There was still one problem, however, Words that are contractions had fights. Here are some contractions. Your, I'll, can't, couldn't, shouldn't, aren't, she. Can you name some other contractions? Hmm. 
I bet you can. Let's follow along. The contractions fought because contractions are made up of two words. The contraction couldn't is made up of the words could and not. The contraction your is made up of the words you and are. The contraction owl is made up of two other words. What words are they? Everybody get ready. If you said the words I and will, give yourself two points. What words make up the contraction shouldn't? Everybody get ready. If you said the words should and not, give yourself two points. Here's what used to happen in the warping. Whenever a contraction was named, the two words that make up the contraction would fight. For example, when the contraction you was said, the word you would say, that's me. The word will would say, no, that's me. And third word would join the fight. The word was the contraction you'll. So a big row would go on between you'll, you, and will. Which three words would fight when someone named ho ho ho, -ho said she'll? Let me read that again. Which three words would fight when someone in ho ho ho, -ho said she'll? Remember, three words. Think about it. I'm giving you time. Think about it. Okay, now, here. If you said she, will, and she'll, give yourself five points. Those are the three words that would fight. Okay? Let's follow along. Which three words will fight when someone said shouldn't? Which three words will fight when someone said shouldn't? If you said the word should, not, and shouldn't, give yourself five points. All right, let's follow along. By now, the other words in the word bank were tired of seeing words fight. Come on, the word calm said. Why don't you figure out some way of solving the problem? Do you have to wait for another announcement? Yeah, the word smart said. We can work out a plan that will make everyone happy. The word question asked. What kind of plan would that be? So the word smart thought for a moment and then came up with this plan. Every time a contraction is said, three words get points. The contraction that is said gets one point. The word in the contraction that has all the letters gets one point. The word in the contraction that has some letters missing does not get one point. That word gets half a point. So, which word gets half the point? Think about it. Which word gets half a point? Right, the word in the contraction that has missing parts. Okay, remember that. Smart said, remember the contraction and the full word each one get one point. So, which 
two words get one point? Think about it. Take a minute. Think about it. The contraction gets the point and the word in the contraction that has all the letters, okay? Give yourself two points if that's what you said. The contraction shouldn't said, I think I understand. If somebody says shouldn't, I get one point. And should get one point because it has all the letters. The word not said, and I only get half a point because one of my letters is missing in the word shouldn't. Okay, so we're on the word shouldn't. Okay, let's think about the word shouldn't. Which words get one point? Think about it. If you said the words shouldn't and should, give yourself two points. Now, everybody, what does the word not get? Everybody, get ready. If you said half a point, give yourself two points. So, why only half a point? Hmm. If you said, because it's missing a part, you get two points. The plan worked, and the finding finally ended in the word bank. When a word like you'll is said, the contraction you'll gets one point. The word you gets one point because it has no parts missing. The word will gets half a point because it has a missing part. Everybody, what part of will is missing in you'll? Get ready. If you said the letters W and I, give yourself two points. Things are very nice in the word bank now, the word calm said, when the plan was first used. Yes, things are nice, the word quiet whispered. The end. All right, now, this is gonna be your time for individual work. Um, when we were in class, I gave you about a good, depending on, like, mm, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, you think you could do it? Okay, so here's what I want you to do, okay? So right now when you do your individual work, when you're finished, I want you to write the time it took you to do your work, okay? So if you have a timer or, or look at the clock and be like, okay, at this time, I want to finish. Okay, so, and I want you to write, hmm, it took me 23 minutes to finish my work, okay? Because if you write the time, I'm going to give you more points, okay? Remember, the points still stand. We're still doing the points, okay? All right, sweethearts, I'll see you the next time. Bye.